Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we're going to take a look at two 13-year-old bourbons. Some recent releases, Dustin. We're going to do the Elijah Craig 13-year-old, the Batch C from this year of 2023, and then the Russell's 13, what was it, Batch 2? Batch 3. Batch 3. Batch 3, excuse me. So, uh, the Elijah Craig, this one comes off very highly uh, regarded, 133 proof, 13-year and 7-month-old. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, the Elijah Craig used to always be 12 years old. Now they're different age statements. This one's the oldest one so far released. And the Russell's is a 13-year-old, 57.4%. And the believe. rumor's on the batch three, Mike. Yes. It has 20-year-old whiskey in it. And I've heard there's nothing younger than 14 in it. All right, so this is the reason why we're bringing this comparison. Like, these are two bourbons that have come out here recently that are supposed to be... Top of the heap. Yeah, yeah. So, of ones we could possibly get our hands on. You don't have to raise your hands. What's can, up, I ask, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Is Heaven Hill stated that this is going to be... The Wild Turkey. No, 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 I'm talking about oh, this? Elijah Craig. Yeah. Are they saying that they're no longer just doing 12? Correct. They're going to give you an exact statement of whatever yeah, the whatever youngest whatever whiskey is. From is. now on. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Okay. That's how it goes. All right, where should we start out with on the nose, Dustin? Just go left to right. Russell's. Russell's. Obviously, the bottles here are reflected with us left to right yep. or right to left. Cherry. Just nice. cherries. Beautiful, like custardy, funky vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit dirty yet clean. Yeah, definitely a little peanutty, but yeah, a little caramel. Yeah. yeah. A little, little dirty yeah. shells. I'm not, getting, pudding. I'm, I'm not getting too much on the peanut. Um, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of I get definitely get nutshell. dusty. I definitely get some pretty heavy uh, shoe varnish. Um, wood finishings going on here as well. Dare Very I say a little Laffy Taffy. It's too old a whiskey notes for me to come to that one, but. You don't think you can get Laffy Taffy notes with aged bourbon? I mean, it, for me, I'm, what I'm saying is the oaky notes are coming through so hard. Because right. that's part of the sweetness. I know you think of, I'm just struggling to dig into the sweetness and pick it apart right now, Keith. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, it's all it's all a it's awfully dry. B it's awfully oaky. I agree with Mike. This is very dry. I think when we add water, Keith, I'll be better able to see if I can pull that. <clears throat> You're pulling a little deeper than I am. I think it's right very now. good. Yeah, it's rich. It's, it, it's strong. It, you can tell it's such a dense nose. Definitely yeah. covered in that varnish, <laughs> shoe polish. Yeah. It, yeah, it smells oily. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig is cleaner instantly. I was just saying something. <clears throat> no, but it's more like brownie mixed. Turkey's well known for their bit of funkiness, though, so. Oh my gosh, like brownie mixed before you baked it? A little bit of. Oh my gosh. This is more dark chocolate in comparison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what's, what's funny is I don't really think of this as being a heavy chocolate uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof. Almost like a cherry like, cola. Compared, compared to comparison, yeah. yeah. Cherry it's, cola note. It's mm. burnt chocolate. That yeah, is. So you got cherry here, grill. but cherry cola here. All right. <clears throat> I can see that. I'm almost, I mean, hints of Dr. Pepper even sneaking Absolutely. In. Some yeah. kind of cola pop. 23 flavors. You can even go with grape at some point. Well, there's you definitely, definitely. I was just about to say grape. <laughs> One thing I'm definitely picking up here, and a lot of people have talked about this, is Crush. there is the slightest hint of dusty, like, 80s bourbon coming through here. Just a hint. Mm. Wish I could get there. Yeah, not all of us got to experience it as much as some other people does. I haven't had much. I've just had a few, you know, people sending me samples, a few tastings I've been to. I unfortunately was not stockpiling that stuff when it was just on shelves still. You know, I, years old. I'm getting like burnt wood chips. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But then almost like come back, there's a little bit of a, a sweet, um, that's a one sweet of the best, vanilla. That's one of the best Logic Craig Braille Proof nose I've had. Burnt? I think. Ever. Yeah, there, there's I a burnt that. caramel note on here, whereas oh there's goodness. more of like a cinnamon caramel on the Russell's in comparison. If you kind of go to the caramel notes, this is a little burnt, which could be a good or bad thing depending on what you're looking for in a bourbon. Yeah, the Elijah Craig is definitely a sweeter nose, especially when you get to even, even though it's, you know, burnt. We talk, we're talking burnt chocolate, a few Brown things. It's not quite as oaky as this Russell. But I tell you what, I still I think I prefer the Elijah Craig nose a little bit better, even though I'm a fan of oak. Yeah. There's more going on here. It's a little bit a little more popping. I disagree on the more going on. I like what the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof does better, but I think there's more on the Russells. Mm. It's those like brownie, uncooked brownie mix. mix with the Elijah Craig initially oh. starts soft, but then it picks up and gets really intense, whereas but the Russells has more things mm. here. I, I, I prefer the Elijah Craig. There's, I, there's I, more I, sweet <clears throat> things. There's more. There's sweet and there's... 
things that are kind of savory with the, the yeah. burnt chips. Maybe chips I need to pour. Things. Maybe I need to pour my glass to your glass's size. <laughs> I thought that no, that's actually, a heat pouring thing. I thought when I first taste or yeah, knows I this, <laughs> no, I was like, Geez. when I first knows this, I thought this was going to be the best of the two, and then I and then I smelled the Elijah Craig barrel. Pour. I mean, they're <laughs> both they're both exceptional. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, we're splitting hairs. They're both. The Elijah Craig definitely is the once you get into it, it's bigger, bolder. This one's softer in comparison. Yeah. This one reminds me of like a Elijah Craig eighteen year old. How like oaked and it's better Elijah cherry. Craig eighteen, but I, I I see where you're coming from. It's it's more it's definitely more oak driven. These are both very strong noses. They're beautiful. All right, I'm gonna hop in, taste the thirteen. Going oaky first, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I still, regardless, I, I think there's plenty going on with this one, and I like the dichotomy between the sweet and then the burnt the burnt chocolate, the burnt chips note. A little bit of burnt oak note with this mm. one too. What do you think of them on the palate there, Dustin? Man, this is what Russell's is supposed to be. Chewy, oily, rich, viscous, a little bit of funkiness. It has that Russell's sweet meets funk, heavy oak. The age is there, but it's not overpowering. It's not super, um, the shoe varnish and stuff that I got on the nose. Slight wintergreen. It's there. Yeah, I mean, I could see a little bit of mintiness. That's, that's way back there for me. But it's really just, the, this is perfect. This is what Russell's Reserve is all about, is this beautiful, beautiful elements. Yeah, it's, it's mm. oak forward for sure. But it's that chewy, like, funky, it, like, sweet oak. Not, it, like, drying. Like, you know, beam gets really dry at times. Well, it, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not debating that. I'm just saying that the oak is definitely in the show, and it dries pretty much the palate, in my opinion. Um Dense caramel. Mm-hmm. Um, just added a couple things to you. And just, just a wisp of tobacco right there at the end, in my opinion. Oh, good call if you didn't think about that. No, but you're right. All right. I'm going to have a little bit of water in this and take us some time to sit. Yeah, it's. It, I think it was almost a chewy note. I mean, it's very... It, it, it's a savory whiskey. It's kind of got... I, I know you guys have had both the, the Calumet 14, the 15, and the 16. It's kind of got that really oaked, really good cherry note. I remember the 15 with a little too cherry forward. The 16 was hit 16 cherry. would hit that cherry, but it was but it leathered. Was, there was other things to balance it Leather out. and tobacco came in. Big Something time. about that, and I liked all those whiskeys. Something about this reminds me of that. It's just a little bit more brown sugar, vanilla, um, some of the notes you were talking about, the brown, tobacco. Yeah, brown sugar is a good note, too. Yeah. Mm. This is it's a good whiskey. This is oilier and denser, too, than something like that is. For, for those who haven't had a lot of older bourbons, these are this one's really hard to get. This one's pretty hard to get too. Um, those Calumets are pretty obtainable, so that's a good reference point for people who are trying to get into like the notes of older bourbons. This got flavor. <laughs> you taste it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. So I, I just went into this. I can. This is one of the better, better Elijah Ray bourbons. This is a good one to bring. They're different whiskeys. This one gets it done with the upfront sweetness, a big punch, big alcohol kick. It's the rich sweetness that kind of goes along with some of the burnt charcoal coal notes. Mm. Not necessarily coal, but, you know, just anything, uh, burnt wood chips. I tell you what, this comes off. You can tell, even for a dense whiskey, how much denser <clears throat> and oakier this is because this comes off on the palate thin comparatively. Ooh, I disagree. This one comes really? off. Yeah, this one, this one's maybe getting thin because it's coming off much higher alcohol. Mm, I don't, I don't the know. The alcohol I don't level know. is much higher on this one. This, this one feels being the yolk and spoon. It feels like denser whiskey for sure. It you know, this is denser. This, but this is probably this is probably denser. Yeah, but the denser. alcohol the alcohol is making this seem thinner than it is. Maybe because it is about very denser high versus alcohol. you're talking about ABV. It's well, no, 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 I understand. But sometimes when alcohol gets higher, it comes off less dense because the bite because it's drying on the tongue. Whereas when the alcohol is a little bit lower, mm. you're able to pick up the oils better. There's a lot of snappy flavors in the Isaac Craig though. Yeah. Um, for those who've had a lot of Elijah Craig, this comes off much more like an A batch than a C batch. And I can tell you that side by side, this one is incredibly similar to this year's A batch. If you do the A and C this year side by side, they're very similar in profile, which, by the way, not a bad thing. Because A was beautiful. Keith, what are you picking up? Mm. Man. Uh, the brownie is like the uncooked brownie batter is not as strong as it was. It's still there. But then you get all the. Delicious toasted oak notes. You get cherry cola or something, some kind of yeah. great cola, cherry cola, woody notes, chocolate. Man, it's it's really good. It's such a stinging. Elijah Craig. Every time I have, it, yeah. I, I 
take my first sip of it. It's so stinging you miss a couple things. But you're right, Keith, um, along with Oak Nose and with that brownie note there. That was a that was a good call, and the cola note too is always always yeah. there. Almost well, sachets in the root beer yeah, for me. Like, one thing that I always pick up on root with beer. the Sass Elijah beer. Craig's there's there's two kind of notes I get from Elijah Craig up front. They either go very very chocolatey, like super chocolate coffee, or they go to a really fruity note. This is all this is on the fruity side. A lot of fruit comes up right away Sorry. on the initial arrival, and then I'm getting darker. Now. Yeah, I'm getting darker notes too. And then everything Keith kind of pointed out comes in after for me. So I get that upfront, intense vanilla, good, like light citrusy fruit, and then bam, charred oak. I mean, heavy I, caramel. I mean, I, I get the, glasses. The, yeah, the only fruit I'm getting, I'm maybe getting a little bit of red apple skin, a little bit of apple peel, like this on, like, like some flaming. Oh, there's a lot of apple. Molasses. Yeah. Toasted oak. Yeah. Vanilla. Yeah, I'm getting more of that. Cherry oak. cola. I'm with you on the cherry cola. Espresso bean <clears throat> chocolate. You're getting covered. espresso, really? Chocolate yeah. Yeah, espresso. yeah, I am too. I mean, this is more... On the, pal- on the nose, oak, I get oak, it. This is more oak done slow. This is just yeah. popping oak. Yeah. Well, it's definitely popping. I mean, even at kind of the end here with a little bit of it's a long linger, of like a little bit of a cinnamon just backdrop to the whole mm-hmm. thing. So we're at 114 versus like 133. So there's a huge ABV difference here. Seven? 130 versus 117. Yeah, like seven percent. That's a pretty big difference, especially once you as you get higher. I mean, they, they get yeah. You you would think on the palate this was significantly higher. And that's 130. I mean, Mike, it's 133. I think to 117. Yeah, I mean, that's seven percent alcohol, right? Something like About that. 13. Is it 130? 130? Oh no, it's 133. I think right. Correct. So a little bit. Oh, good. Then I figured out. 60. 66.5 versus 57. Yeah, seven percent. Six seven percent. That's pretty big. Yeah, seven percent. Smells like it. Math is hard, Keith. Apparently. Don't worry about it. Maybe I didn't hear the we, we don't. We don't need math. Oh, math is subjective, apparently, nowadays. 57.4 and... Apparently. 66. Well, it's almost 9. 57 and 66. All right. Let's hear it, guys. 9. If you guys... Like with any Versus series, Keith, you're no stranger to this. If somebody was buying mm-hmm. drinks at the bar... Orange citrus now with water on here. You done? Well, we haven't talked right. about it with water. All right. So, like with all the all, all the Versus series, someone is at a bar picking up the tab. Doesn't matter what it's cost. Which one are you taking? I'm buying. Well, it's, like, ha- it's happened before. Glad you crank for approval. Me too. Dustin. Three. Yeah. It's a fun whiskey. They're both really good whiskeys. I would like to have that <clears throat> bottle, though. I mean, that's a good whiskey. Oh, this, this is this is an exceptional logic grape. Now, and here's what I will say though. These are eighty nine. One of the one of the best. Yeah. I mean, here's what I'm going to say. This profile is more common than this profile. This is a whiskey profile you don't really get from anybody but Turkey. Whereas Heaven Hill and Jim Beam, when they get really old, they get kind of similar. So you got two distilleries amazing. putting out. Amazing <laughs> is the word you're looking for. They are amazing. <laughs> My point is, this is a little bit. This profile is something you. You pay a little extra for it because it's more unique. Yeah, for sure. And right. It's also priced especially if you're a bourbon geek and you really want to get to know every distillery and what it can do. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Not that bourbon is easy to get these days, but these are somewhat obtainable bottles, depending on where you're at and time of day, <laughs> and relationship with the people that work at the liquor store. And if you're able to not work during the day <clears throat> when the truck shows up. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're good at negotiation and being early. If so, if you guys had a chance to try this one, we'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, Dustin, until next time, what do we wish the folks? Happy versus drinking. We'll see you then. <laughs>